Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be something incredibly special and one that I didn't think I'd be making for a little while yet. Last night whilst I was here on Te Awawara grinding for another Great One Red Deer, something happened which completely and utterly surprised me seeing as this was only day two of my Red Deer grind. You can see I lined up to go and take the shot at that level 6 and I see the outline of a 10 fabled stood there. Now, like I said, I've only been grinding on Tay for a couple of days. I've maybe shot 200 odd stags and I've only had three diamonds and then this guy pops up. This is by far the quickest grind I've had for any of my great ones, including the great one Whitetail. And I was in complete and utter shock that this guy turned up last night. I honestly still can't process that it's turned up already and it's the rack I wanted. My first Great One Red Deer that I shot, which you guys will have seen on the channel if you've been following it for any any, any amount of time, is was a big rack one. It was the biggest rack you can have for a Great One Red Deer. But I really wanted to get the smaller rack as well because basically for the Great One Red Deer you've got like a bigger rack and a smaller rack and the smaller rack has some different times and I wanted to get that one so that I had the two different looking racks and that's what popped up. So I couldn't be more happy. So today's video was going to be basically me talking about setting up a grind on Te Awara and a couple of other maps for a couple of different things. But of course when this guy turned up last night all plans of that went out the window. And I do have the footage of the three diamonds that I shot prior to this guy turning up. All of them were taken with the bow and we are going to take this great one red deer down with the bow, with the single pin sight and tracer arrows. But like I said, those uh, the three diamonds that actually led up to this kill will be in the next trophy highlights video. And yeah, one of them, interestingly enough, actually the second diamond stag that showed up was a max weight. Now this is really particularly interesting to me because on every single Great One grind that I have done for Whitetail and for Red Deer, for both of them, there has been at least one max weight diamond before the Great One has showed up. Now I know that that doesn't have to be a thing, but when I got that max weight stag, I just had a feeling. The fact that it happened so quickly and that max weight showed up so quickly you know, I spoke to a couple of other people and they said, you're you're going to get a great one again really quickly. And then literally later the same day, this guy shows up. I couldn't believe how, how quickly everything went. And the reason I'm actually grinding for it here on Te Arawara, or was grinding for it here on Te Arawara until last night, was because I did the first one on Quattro. I got the, the footage of it in full daylight, which I wanted. But I wanted a bit of an extra challenge if I was going to go for a second one. And with the Red Deer drinking at night, which is something I hate, I do not like night hunting, I wanted to basically challenge myself to learn and adapt to learning these patterns on this map. And also I've been grinding for a couple of other species on this map, including the Seeker Deer and the Feral Goats. So it kind of worked that I could do a run for the Feral Goats, do a run for the Seeker Deer, and then do a run for the Red Deer. And actually this was the first lake on the next run for red deer after i just shot a load of feral goats this was literally the first zone on the first lake of that next run for red deer and like i said i just i couldn't believe what i was looking at i said to my fiance who was in discord with me i said there's a great one in front of me and he, even he couldn't believe it like that's my luck at the minute in game is absolutely extraordinary and i like i said i haven't shot that many red deer i've basically just been really pacing myself with this grind because I wasn't very well the past couple of days so I thought right I'll just set up for the grind shoot some stags shoot some of the other animals on the map and we'll get set up and then I'll do a video and talk about it well we never even caught there before this guy showed up and seeing him there with his antler just poking around the tree oh my gosh guys my heart was pounding I am not a bow hunter in this game I do use the bow on occasion but Normally I'm not a bow hunter, which is why here you can see me just double checking that I'm using the right arrows because that would have been awful if I shot it with the wrong arrows. But I normally don't use a bow. I'm very much a rifle hunter. You guys will have seen that from my videos. And I used the bow, like I said, on the three diamond red deer and on a diamond fallow deer 
literally in the lead up to this and then when i spotted this guy i literally went to another lake and shot a hind with the bow just to give myself a little bit of practice right before going to stalk him and as you guys can see we're just crawling in closer and closer because i wasn't doing anything over 20 meters in terms of the shot it had to be 20 meters or less because i'm using the single pin sight and that's what i'd learned to do is 20 meters and he had to be fully broadside. I'm not risking the shot going between the lungs. I'm not risking it going over the top of the heart or, you know, just anything weird happening. It's got to be broadside and it had to be 20 meters or less. And I'm crawling in and I can see that I'm getting into this kind of range, 15 meters, and he is broadside. Now, before anyone says anything, because I did get comments about it in a previous video, the reason that I cannot be seen here, you can see my visibility meter is on nothing, is because I have the improvised blind skill, which allows you to use bushes and trees and any kind of natural cover as a blind. So this guy cannot see me here, he cannot smell me because my wind is going sort of onto my face and behind me going away from him. So he's got no idea I'm here. And I stand up. I line up my shot, and as soon as he picks his head up, I take the shot. And I knew it was good straight away because I see the health dropping so quickly. And he goes down, and so do I. Because I got knocked out by some hinds. Now, as well, I had that weird glitch where after you take a shot, you sort of run, but you're still and you kind of glide. So that's what was happening there. But yeah, really highly recommend getting the improvised blind skill, especially for here on Te Awara, it's incredible because all the trees and the forests give you a lot of cover. But for most maps, if you're hunting, it's pretty good. But taking a look at this guy on the ground and that shot, honestly, absolutely perfect where I wanted to place it. That is exactly on the money, on the bullseye of where I would have placed it if I could have literally play, gone up and placed it in in his side that was what i wanted to a t and just look at this thing aren't they just absolutely majestic so gorgeous so let's pick him up before the game crashes or anything and he is a great one 257.7 so like i said he is the smaller rack great one red deer but that's exactly what I wanted. I now have the big rack and I have the smaller rack. And I've only seen two racks for the Great One Red Deer, a bigger rack and a smaller rack. If any more come out, then I'll grind for those as well, probably. But those are the only two I've ever seen posted. And yeah, what a stag. He is absolutely gorgeous. And just such a quick grind. I can't believe it. So happy with that shot. Double lung with those tracer arrows absolutely epic it was so cool seeing him you know actually sort of run off with that arrow in his side it's a shame i got killed by a hind as they were all running off once obviously once they heard the bow shot at that kind of distance that's enough to spook them but yeah what a stag i cannot believe it honestly i'm still in complete and utter shock that this guy showed up so quickly i have put a lot of effort into grinding for all of the great ones i have this is actually great one number seven overall five white tail and two red deer and i've put a lot of work into them i did over twelve thousand kills with the white tail the last great one red deer i had was over three point six thousand kills so to have one show up this quick is kind of really nice because I didn't know how long it was going to take. I expected it to be a long, long-term thing because, like I said, it, with these great ones, and I've always said it, it is a luck thing. It's luck of the draw whether one shows up. You have to get that lucky roll and have one turn up. And it's there's not a whole lot you can do other than just keep shooting red, de red deer or white tail and hope that one eventually pops up. There's no rhyme or reason to when one when one will show up, if one shows up. It's completely random. So I know, I know I am absolutely incredibly lucky and I'm so grateful that this guy showed up and that I could make a video on it for you guys. And I hope that stalk was as, as intense and as cool for you guys through the video as it was for me, because my heart was pounding. Like I said, I'm not a bow hunter. And I have used the bow a little bit before on a few animals. I've messed up diamonds because of trying to use the bow, where I've hit them in the spine because I've misjudged things. And I've always thought about, you know, how cool it would be to use the bow on one of the great ones. And I thought with Red Deer being a little bit bigger and I was getting a bit more confident with the bow, I thought it would be really good to try it. And 
I was so pleased that it worked out the way it did. So this is him in the lodge. You're going to see my other great ones in the background here as well. But this is the one that we just shot, the 257.7. And it's just such a cool looking stag. And so this is the, the first great one red deer I shot. And you can see he's a 268.5, so he's a lot bigger. And he's got completely different time configuration. It's really interesting to compare the two sort of side by side like this in the lodge, which is why I displayed everything this way. You'll notice there's a great one red deer rack on the wall as well. I don't personally count that as one of my great ones, but I do keep it in the lodge. And the story behind that is when the great one red deer were released, there was a number of them spawning in dead. They were just dead on the ground. You could go and pick them up. Even like they'd not been shot, they just spawned in dead. And I have a whole video about that if you guys want to see that. Um, but it was a video and it, to me it was it's still a trophy because it was from one of those rare times where it actually happened there was only a, a you know a certain number of those that actually spawned in that way so i have him on the wall as an antler mount almost as if i picked him up as a deadhead if that if you know what a deadhead is that's when um like shed hunters find a dead animal while they're out shed hunting that has like the antlers attached so it'll be like a skull or something with the antlers so to me it makes more sense to have that on the wall than a, a taxidermy mount because i didn't actually shoot it so that's him in the lodge i can't believe that this happened and i hope you guys will have enjoyed this video want to say again thank you all so so much for the support it's absolutely crazy to watch how this channel is growing and it's as i say all the time it is absolutely humbling and it means the absolute world to me thank you all so so much for everything i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you